And we are back with some more online matches in Killer Instinct 2 over Xbox One. Alright, here we go. There's my red fireball. Yeah, it does a ton of damage on block. That's basically what they call chip damage. Oh, you blocked the overhead. Nice. Right. Wake up uppercut. Oh, I got my overhead combo with the first ender. The laser sword one. And Oh, nice combo. Pretty quick. It's an auto. Oh, jumped over that. Block. Oh, you still recovered, but you're blocking high. So the slide got you on a low hit. Then if I block one attack. If I just block one attack, uh, I'm done my first life bar. Oh, there we go. I was trying to get as much damage in there before my first life bar was depleted. Oh, wow, nice. Let's see, oh, there's the overhead, and there is the ultra. There we go. And boom. Super uppercut at the end for a few more hits. All right, nice. I actually prefer the uh, Super Move finishers in KI2 compared to the uh, Ultra Enders in KI 2013. I thought the ones in 2013 weren't that great, but... Whoa, did you select Ultra Speed? Oh, no, 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 no. Why'd you do this? Why'd you do this? This must have been by accident. <laughs> it must have been. Yeah, when you're playing on Ultra Speed, you gotta do your inputs a little bit faster. Yeah, I don't like Ultra Speed. The normal game speed is good enough for the game. Yeah, okay. Can we just like end this? Can we finish this match really quick? I don't want to play an ultra speed. Yeah, it's too turbo. It's too hyper. It's too ultra hyper turbo speed. <laughs> it's too much, man. No, I don't like it when it's this fast. Let's just end this, please. Oh, wow. Wow, what a fail. That was so bad. Okay. Can we please just end this? Just get hit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, let's not do that again. Ultra speed was too fast for me. Alright, that match is out of the way. Please do not select Ultra Speed again. Thank you. Alright, one match was enough. Let's go back to how the game is normally played. Yeah, this speed is just fine. There's the overhead. There we go, the first ender. Big damage on manual hits. Yeah, 33%. Oh, nice. That damn flying overhead kick that still appears to be an overhead and a low kick at the same time. I don't know. It's so weird. Alright, go under the fireball with the slide. Good. Yeah, I barely even use Shadow Linkers in this game. I just prefer to save my Super Meter for 6 bars for the Super Uppercut when I really need it. Alright, nice. Go under the fireball. There's the Uppercut. Wow, the block damage on the red fireball is a lot. Alright, he's almost there. And there is the Ultra. Good. Oh, god damn! I forgot. Okay, Ultra Breaker. Let's try this again. A Shadow Ultra. Yo, imagine he did a second Ultra Breaker? Is that possible? Because he's got six bars and he still had like a pixel of health. I think you could have done a second Ultra Breaker. Maybe. I mean, based on the game mechanics, he could have been able to do a second Ultra Breaker, but maybe he forgot or just didn't care. But yeah, that's something I've never seen in a match before. Two Ultra Breakers by the same person. So anyways, on to the next match. We are on Dungeon, which is Gargos' stage. Yeah, the music here is pretty good. Heck, I mean, the entire soundtrack of the game is pretty good. There's one Ender. There's two Enders. I want to try to go for all my five Enders in this match. That's something I normally don't go for, but let's try to get it. We got two already. And there is the third Ender, the Fireball. All I need now is the Uppercut one with Fierce Punch. I just need one more ender with the Fierce Punch Uppercut. Let's go for it. Overhead, there we go. All four hits unlocked. And then we should have access to the fifth ender, which is the Uppercut with Medium Punch. And there we go, Uppercut, three hits of the Jump Kicks, and then it finishes off with the Uppercut at the end for a total of a five-hit ender. All right, good stuff. Okay, so the next time I have some online matches, like a very long session with someone, I'm thinking I'm going to try Saberwolf. I was going to consider Fulgore or Tusk, but now I'm thinking, no, I'll try Saberwolf. Because I remember many years ago, when this game was way more active online publicly, there was one Saberwolf player who was really good and pushed me to the edge with my Jago. So I'm thinking, yeah, I will try Saberwolf but I will need to practice a little bit before I go online with him. But uh, 
I'm not sure when that's going to happen because, I mean, it's extremely rare to find someone playing online in KI2 who actually knows how to play. So, whenever that happens, I will try to uh, learn Saberwolf and we'll see what we can do there. So, alright. So, back to this match. Oh, you're learning that uh, jumping, flying kick there goes through fireballs. Yeah, I believe everyone has a special move that goes through fireballs in some way. So, you don't need a shadow move to go through the fireball. So just use a specific special move. There's one ender, wow. That was my first ender? Really? I haven't done two yet? Oh wow, I messed that up. I was gonna go for a throw combo into an air juggle. Yeah, in this game I mostly use Jago pretty much all the time. In the first game I did use Cinder a bit more and Fulgore. But uh, here we go. Ultra speed again? Why? Why would you put me through this? Why? Do you just want to annoy me? Dude, I don't like ultra speed in this game. Yeah, it's too fast. Can we just like get this over with? You know, can you just like stand there? Let me finish this round or this match, you know, really quickly. Or maybe I could just stand still. Let you hit me? Okay, it's almost done. Just let's end this. This is not good. This ain't good, man. Overhead, there we go. It's almost done. I don't want to play on ultra speed. <laughs> this is not good. There we go. Okay, that's done. Yeah, let's not do that a third time, please. Yeah, it's a bit too fast. You know what I miss? The sky stage. Oh, I totally forgot about it in this game. It's really cool. But uh, maybe I'll try to input the sky stage code uh, the next session we do this, because I totally forgot. I think it's down and medium kick. Right, there's the chip damage. But I forgot if it's um, selecting your character first and then doing the stage select. Because I believe if you do the code for down and medium kick before you pick your character, that will select the game speed. I think that's how it is. I don't know, it's been a while. At the character select screen, I'm just picking my color. He's the one who's picking the stages and the game speed. So, yeah. Alright, nice. Oh, that is a cool ender. Like so many fireballs. That's pretty cool. There's a low attack. Oh, I messed up the ender. I should just like done the ender. Wow, dude, again, why am I going for ultras when he has like six bars? I'm not paying attention. Oh my god, wow. That was so bad. I should have never went for the ultra when he clearly has six bars. But I'm not looking at the screen there. I'm looking at my character. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Stop going for ultras. Just do an ender get it over with and win or else you're gonna lose like me that was bad full screen win kick yeah there's my first ender wow full screen win kick all right there's the overhead and then i dropped the ender so i never got that that's fine i got the spirit move that's good enough i blocked it that time even though it's a very tricky move i'll try to uh, keep you in the corner oh Uppercut to keep you in there. Cross up. I got the cross up, but no auto double. And oh, I dropped the combo ender. Let's try this. And there is the uh, juggle ultra. That's actually a glitch you can do based on the combo system. Uh, the way you do that is you do an opener with fierce kick slide, medium kick or medium punch auto double. And then do an opener again which is supposed to act as a linker, but since you do it with the slide with a fierce kick, it's going to cause a knockdown. And so after that knockdown, you can input the ultra very quickly and the ultra will juggle them as they're being you know, launched into the air. In Killer Instant Classic, you can do a similar kind of thing. However, it's more situational and it requires a different method known as negative edge which uh, means you have to hold the button, do the input, and then release, but during specific kinds of combos that cause knockdowns. So, yeah, that's a different issue. Anyways, so this match is almost over, and that was not enough because I only did, what, maybe two enders? And that should be it. He can break it if he wants. Well, I guess at this point there's not much point because, I mean, you hit me one time. <laughs> one time. Can you believe that? So, where was the damage? Oh, it was right here. That single attack was the only damage you had in the entire 
match. Dude, what happened? <laughs> okay, that's fine. You know what happens. At least it was not a perfect, you know. So, max hits was 57 so far in this set. It's not bad, 57? You could do the 70 hit ultras in a competitive match if, I mean, you hold on to all your resources, like um, build up 12 bars a meter by the opponent actually blocking a lot of your attacks. And you'd also have to get all of your five enders into a single match. And then, of course, there's the process of actually doing the 70 hit ultras, which is not so easy. I mean, if you got like 12 bars of super meter, do you want to save it, hoping you can actually do the 70 hit ultra in the end, and hoping the enemy actually goes into a fierce punch or a fierce attack to open the parry system, or just burn 12 bars of meter with your super uppercut and, you know, get some big damage? What do you want to do with it? So, he's almost down. I'm on my first life bar. Well, not anymore. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. I want to play as Spirit Jago. Even though I have like, what, a little bit of health? I just want to try it. I just want to see it again. There's a super uppercut on Wake Up. Yeah, you can't be so aggressive and offensive on my Wake Up. You gotta be patient and block sometimes and see what I do and punish me for my mistake. Alright, we'll switch the color to the white one. Spinal Stage. Well, one of the two of Spinal Stages. I think this was a longer set than the other um, videos I uploaded. But uh, yeah, it's fine. I'm having fun. I mean, I don't play this game that often online. I mean, I get a very long break between, you know, I find someone online. So uh, the connection is fine and he's pretty decent with Kimu. So why not? We'll stick around for a while. But I got to watch out for that damn flying jump. That one, that one. That move, I don't like it. I don't like that move. It's so tricky. I don't know why I can't block it correctly. I blocked it that time. You would think it's just a high attack, right? Or an overhead? That's what you would think. But sometimes I block low and it still hits me. So I'm like, is that an overhead? Or is it like a, a low attack? Or combine both? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, so I got 12 bars of meter and... Oh, there's Spirit Jago. Nice. I activated Ultra Instinct. But he does have a very huge life advantage, so this is not going to be easy if I can... No, I was trying to get a jumping air juggle combo into pressure double into super uppercut, but it did not happen. That's fine. Alright, we'll switch to white Jago this time. Oh, this is the other stage of spinal, I believe, yeah. Yeah, this one is more open, more simple, so it's not so distracting like the other one with a lot of animations happening in the background. And this one has the skeleton in the background banging on the drums. Nice. Alright. Alright, there's my spirit move. There's the pressure double. Oh, the uppercut did not connect. There is a limitation on how many hits I can get on a juggle. And let's see here. Can I get you in the jump? Oh no, you stuffed my wind kick. Nice. Manual. 5 hits. 25%. Nice. You blocked the overhead and I did not block your flying leg attack because I have no idea how it works. And there is a slow ultra that is done by doing double motions of the ultra and then hitting the attack button to activate it. I remember that also in Killer Instinct Classic you could do the normal speed enders, the slow ones, which I just did right now in KI2, but you can also do the fast enders, which is done by holding the button doing the motion and then releasing the button but i just don't remember in uh, ki1 if you can do slow ultras i don't think so i know you can do normal ones and the fast ones but i don't know about slow ones all right so here we go got the opener into a very short combo but still a manual there's the air juggle oh but no juggle at the very end yeah i'm doing too many hits there Oh, that was the uh, neutral attack and fierce kick. That's what Shadow Jago uses for his forward and fierce kick in Killer Instinct 2013. And I'm stuck in a corner. Okay, let's get out with a cross up. Auto double into a throw. Air juggle into... Oh my god, again, I had like not enough super meter for a super uppercut. Yeah. That was a bit uh, too much. I should actually watch my meter because I kind of thought I had six, but I just, I didn't notice it. 
Anyways, that's it for now. That is the end of this set of matches. Thanks for watching. Leave a thumbs up and I will see you all next time.